Peace and Pan Africanism. The worst thing you can do in your life is settle down with a miserable African. That's the second word. The first thing you could, the worst thing you could do in your life is settle down with a cave bunny, rice bunny, or sand bunny. That's the worst thing. But the second worst thing you can do, second worst thing you can do, second worst thing you can do is settle down with a miserable African. You better take your time out here. You better take your time in these streets. You better take your time in these streets. You got spiritual vampires out here. I gotta check my surround. No. No, the bunnies be coming close to me when I'm on my live because they trying to hear if I'm talking about them or not. You know, they got that narcissism going on. Snow bunnies are narcissistic. What's a cave bunny and a rice bunny? I'll let you figure that out. But we got to build institutions to save the race. We got to build in. Shout out to my Senegalese Africans. I'll see you God willing this summer on the seventh annual Dr. Umar group tour. Last week of July, first week of August. 7th Annual Dr. Umar Group Tour. Last week of July, first week of August. 7th Annual Dr. Umar Group Tour. I'm on my way to Guadeloupe. Build with my Ethiopian World Federation Guadeloupian Africans. My Rastafari. Guadeloupe, I'm on my way. I was just in Chicago. Shout out to my Joliet, Illinois family. I love y'all. My Flint, Michigan family. I love y'all. My Western Michigan University family. My Detroit family. You having fun with the bunnies, but you're not going to marry one. Negro, go ahead and keep them, my brother. You clearly are addicted to the mayonnaise. So just hop on in. Go ahead, brother. We don't need you. Don't no sister want no spiritually drained as ninja. Don't no black woman want no spiritually drained as ninja who spent his whole life giving his melanin and his money away to the snow bunnies, the rice bunnies, and the sand bunnies. And now you want to come back to the sun. Sisters don't want you after that. You depleted, my brother. You have been depleted. I'm stripping your melanin. I'm stripping your melanin and turning you into a caucasoid. Strip his melanin from his head. We snatching your melanin back. We got to start snatching melanin back. We got to start snatching melanin back. You're going to give all your best years to the bunnies. And then you want to crawl your old tired, dried up, melanin deficient ass back to a black woman. And you want her to re-energize you through the sacred universe. Nah, brother. Nah, brother. Sisters, you got to be careful. These brothers is trying to crawl back to you after they didn't got used up by the bunnies. Send his ass back home to his mama. Send his ass back home to his mama. But we got to build institutions. We got to build institutions, family. We ain't building no institutions. Nobody in the conscious community is building a relevant institution except me. If you know somebody else in the conscious community building a relevant institution. Well, I want to give a shout out to the new Black Wall Street in Stonecrest. That's a relevant institution. They got a mall to recapture the black dollar. I know another brother working on a hotel. Got a couple Africans. 
You live in Philly and you from where my where my Southwest Philly Liberian Africans at? Where my Southwest Philly Liberian Africans at? Where my Southwest Philly? Where the restaurant? I'm coming to the Liberian restaurant in Southwest Philly when I get home. Where the Nigerians in in Southwest Philly hang out at? Where the Ghanaians in Southwest Philly hang out at? Where the Liberians in Southwest Philly? Shout out to the Arab Nation. Y'all really filling up my feed today. What's going on? Something going on in the Arab Nation. A lot of Arabs on the feed this morning. Thick Madam Tiff. You coming out to the comedy show Friday? My Philadelphia Africans, are you coming out to the comedy show on Friday? Friday, March 1st, my Philadelphia, my New Jersey Africans, are y'all coming to the comedy show? If you need the flyer for the comedy show this Friday in Philly, if you need the flyer for the comedy show this Friday in Philly, if you need the flyer for the comedy show this Friday in Philly, you could text me 215-989-9858, It's a comedy show in Philly, Friday, 7.30. The Victorian Banquet Hall, 4809 Germantown Avenue. Victorian Banquet Hall, 4809 Germantown Avenue. The Victorian Banquet Hall, Philadelphia Comedy Show, 4809 Germantown Avenue, this Friday, March the 1st, 7 o'clock. Come and get your laugh on. I'm hosting. Come and get your laugh on. Come and get your laugh on, Philadelphia Africans. New Jersey Africans, come and get your laugh on 4809 Germantown Avenue at the Victorian Banquet Hall this Friday night, 7 o'clock, this Friday night. Phone number for tickets, 215-906-2040. Phone number for tickets, 215-906-2040. Phone number for tickets for the Philadelphia Comedy Show hosted by the Prince of Pan-Africanism Friday, March the 1st at the Victorian Banquet Hall, 4809 Germantown Avenue. You want tickets? 215-906-2040. My University of Massachusetts Africans, I'm going to see you Saturday. My University of Massachusetts Africans, Amherst Campus, I'm going to see you Saturday. All my UMass Africans, I'm going to see you Saturday at the University of Massachusetts. You should know my number by now. I've been saving black children for a quarter of a century. We got to start working with the parents who lost their children too. We not providing enough support for those who losing their loved ones. When I was in Joliet, Illinois, I met a lot of African family who lost their loved ones to senseless violence, racist violence, police violence, black on black violence, police violence, racist violence. We got to We got to work on that family. See, the problem is you're too worried about what people think about you to live your life. You're too worried about what people think about you in order to live your life. You can't live your life worrying about what people think about you. That's half y'all problem. Y'all want to make sure you are acceptable to other human beings. Who gives a shit? Be acceptable to yourself. Are you acceptable to you? Stop worrying about what the world thinks about you. Worry about what you think about you. Worry about what you think about you. Most of the money you spend, you spend it because you want to look impressive to other people. You're not living for yourself. You're living for others. 
Stop living for others. Live for yourself in African liberation. Now, black women got to stop with the BBLs. They're not even looking right no more. Black women got to stop with the BBLs. They're not even looking right no more. Black women got to stop with the BBLs. They're not even looking right no more. I got to stop with the BBLs. They not even looking right. They not even looking right. And then y'all getting them too big. It's out of proportion with your body. Shit is sad. You know why you got a BBL? Because you care how you look to other people. Stop that shit. Too hard ass butt cheeks. Who want that shit? Too hard ass butt cheeks. Who want that shit? Too hard ass butt cheeks. I don't want no hard butt cheeks. I don't want no hard butt cheeks. Make sure you get one of these if you're going on an Africa trip. Make sure you get one of these if you're going with me to Africa this summer. Make sure you get one of these if you're going with me to Africa this summer. Get that passport. Get that passport. See, sisters, it don't make no sense for you to be spending all that money messing up your body for a big ass. Because he might leave you for a flat ass bunny anyway. Why you spend all that money for an artificial ass where he gonna leave you for a flat ass bunny? It don't even make no sense. You went and got you an artificial flatsy and he gonna leave you for an icy flatsy. You went and got an artificial fatsy and he gonna leave you for an icy flatsy. Spend all that money for a fake ass and he left you and got a snow bunny with the flattest ass in your city. It don't even make no sense. It don't even make no sense. They wifing up the flattest ass bunnies they can find and y'all out here mutilating your body for a fat ass when he settled down with a flat ass bunny. you to stop with the debate i'm not doing no debates 30 grand and i'll debate anybody you want 30 g's my de my debate fee is 30 g's 30 g's i debate anybody you want 30 g's i drop the garvey grenade on anybody you want for 30 g's Uzbekistan you a black person living in Uzbekistan what is there to do for black people in Uzbekistan Nick Cannon episode is already out my brother go to YouTube council culture okay we got a a rainbow sand we got a a sandman from the rainbow gang this shit is crazy 
We got a sand rainbow gainer. Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Donald Trump or Joe Biden? <laughs> Don't talk about him because y'all love this country. Stop. See, what we not going to be is hypocrites. What we not going to be is hypocrites. What we not going to be. Y'all can't sit up here and talk about Neanderthal Nation. And then turn right around and pledge allegiance to the flag. Stop being a hypocrite. One thing I can't, I can respect a coon who's loyal to coon country. More than I can respect some of you ninjas who be trying to act like you unapologetically African. You talk about ice and snow and then you pledge allegiance to the flag. You make your children pledge allegiance to the flag. You celebrate 4th of July, White Christmas, Thanksgiving. Stop being a hypocrite. You love America. Black women, what color is your hair? Blonde and auburn and dusty brown. You wasn't born with blonde and auburn and dusty brown hair. But you dyed it because you wanted to look like the bunny. Why did you put blonde hair on your head? Why did you dye your hair dusty brown? Because you want to look like the bunny. Where's the black man's airport? You said I'm in a white man's airport. Where's the black man's airport? Help me out. We got a black airport in America. Because we are creative. Uh-huh. I love the excuses. The excuses are beautiful. The excuses y'all make for imitating your oppressors is absolutely astounding. I love the excuses. Oh my goodness. I love the excuses. Y'all come up with some great excuses for why y'all imitate your oppressor. I love the excuses. I love the excuses. You dyed your hair blind to cover the gray. That don't even make no damn sense. I need to tie your ass to the whipping post for that shit. I need to tie your ass to the whipping post. Did you just say you dyed your hair blind to cover up the gray? Did that make any sense to anybody this morning? I need me. A, I, 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 I might need me to. I, I might need some weed after that one. I think I need me some marijuana. Guadalupean Africans pull out the Rasta ganja. Guadalupean Africans pull out the Rasta ganja. Guadalupean Africans pull out the Rasta ganja. Did they just say they dyed their hair blind? To cover up the gray? Did I just hear that goofy shit? Did I just hear... Did somebody just type, I dyed my hair blonde to cover up the gray? It's getting ridiculous out here. It is getting absolutely ridiculous in these streets. Stop letting your sons dye the top of their hair gold. I don't like that. The gold tips on the locks. 
I can live with that. But when the young bulls be having the whole top die gold, that's kind of like a rainbow symbol. I don't, I don't, I don't like the whole top of the boy's hair die gold, blind. That something about that is, it's like a little rainbow alert or something. You gotta be careful with that. I don't, I don't really like it. Blind hair on a black boy. I don't, I don't really like that. I don't. I don't really like that too much. My son dyed his tips blue. We got we got to uphold the masculinity. We got to uphold the masculinity, y'all. Don't let your son get his fingernails done either. Blind hair and fingernails on a boy. And now we got the boys getting eyelash extensions. My eyelashes are naturally long. My eyelashes are naturally long. But to go and get artificial eyelashes on a male child, that's some zesty ash. Artificial eyelashes on a, on a male child? Why would you let your son get artificial eyelashes? We got to get them testosterone tablets. We got to get them testosterone tablets. We got to get the testosterone tablets. Cleveland. I'm coming back to Cleveland. I miss my Cleveland Africans. I miss my Cleveland Africans. Is honey blind locks okay? If it's blind, it's blind. If you want to imitate your oppressor, imitate. And see, this is what makes me mad with the bunny hoppers. This is what makes me mad with the bunny hoppers. Whether you were an ice bunny, a rice bunny, or a sand bunny. Whether you were an ice bunny, a rice bunny, or a sand bunny, y'all don't even bring the resources back to the community. Y'all don't even bring, I'm talking to the bunny hoppers. Y'all don't even bring the resources back. If you marry you an ice bunny, or a rice bunny, or a sand bunny, and you said, Dr. Umar, this was a military operation. I married her to get her resources to come build a school for black boys. I married her to get her resources to come build a hospital. I married her to get some resources to open up some jobs for black. I married her to get some resources to build. Y'all don't even bring resources back from these bunnies to your own people. But they always bring in your resources back to their community. Vanessa Bryant got all of Kobe's resources. Vanessa Bryant got all of Kobe's resources. Vanessa Bryant got all of Kobe's resources. They stay getting our resources. They stay bringing our resources back to their community. When are you Negroes going to start bringing those bunny resources back to the black community? Y'all don't even bring no resources back. What good is the bunny hop? What good is the bunny hop if it ain't benefiting the black community? Muslim of brown skin. Why do I repeat three times? Because I'm Ifa Tunde three times. Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Neither one getting my vote. The black community needs to organize before November elections. The black community needs to organize before the November elections. A beans and rice bunny. What's a beans and rice bunny? What's a beans and rice bunny? What's a beans and rice bunny? Cornell West is married to a sand bunny. Cornell West is married to a sand bunny. Cornell West is married to a sand bunny. 
menores de 2 anos, passageiros maiores de idade por lei e passageiros com uma necessidade poderem embarcar neste momento. Recordamos que o embarque será realizado de forma biométrica, por gentileza, pisar pelo sinal que está no celular para a câmera de ocorrência no sinal verde intermitente. Obrigado por The Red Bunnies. Not acceptable. Shout out to the Native American nation, but you can't have a red bunny either. Shout out to the Native American nation, but you can't have a red bunny either. Well, the pretendians, the pretendians, they can marry the red bunnies because they think they red anyway. The pretendians can marry the red bunnies because they think they red anyway. The pretendians can marry the red bunnies because they think they red anyway. My Guadalupean queens, I need me a nice soul food dinner tonight. My Guadalupean African sisters, I need me a nice soul food dinner tonight. The American African queens said I got to take good care of Big Papa. My Guadalupean African queens, I want some good food tonight. My Guadalupean African queens, I need some good food tonight. My American African queens said I got to take good care of me. Who coming to the FDMG paint day? Who coming to the FDMG paint day? I can't wait to see my beautiful sisters in their little overalls painting in the school. I can't wait to see my little beautiful sisters in the overalls painting in the F. Who coming for paint day? Who coming to the FDMG paint day on E5 Tunde Avenue, Dr. Papa Boulevard, Prince of Pan-Africanism Park? If you want to paint and you've donated at least $100, you could text me. Donate $100 right now and then text me. You're good to go. Donate $100 right now. Dollar sign FDMG school. Dollar sign FDMG school. Dollar sign F. Donate $100 right now and you can text me. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG. I got Morehouse College on March the 18th. Morehouse College on March the 18th. University of Massachusetts, March the 2nd. Coppin State University, March the 13th. Happy birthday, Pammy J. Happy birthday, Pammy J. Happy birthday. You ain't never seen me with a bunny. They might come and ask me some questions. I'm respectful to everybody. If they approach me with a question, you might catch me in a little five minute conversation representing the unapologetically African platform, but you ain't never seen me bunnied out nowhere. You ain't never seen me no bunny. You ain't never seen me with ice, rice, or sand. You ain't never caught me with ice, rice, or sand. You ain't never caught me with ice, rice, or sand. You ain't caught me with a white rice bunny or yellow rice bunny. You ain't caught me with a white rice bunny or yellow rice bunny. You ain't caught me with a white rice bunny or a yellow rice bunny. I ain't never been snow bunny in my life. I ain't never been snow bunny in my life. I ain't never been snow bunny. Text my phone, I'll text you the correct link. 2159899985. White rice and yellow rice bunnies. You got your white rice bunnies and you got your yellow rice bunnies. Got snow bunny and it was a waste of time. 
How you call yourself Jimmy X running around with snow bunnies? Help me out, my brother. Your name is Jimmy X and you got snow bunny. How did a black man with the name Jimmy X end up with a snow bunny? I need some clarity, Jimmy. I need some clarity, Jimmy. Jimmy, help me out. You said you got snow bunny and it was a waste of time. But your name is Jimmy X. How the fuck did a black man named Jimmy X allow himself to get snow bunny? I need some therapy. I need some therapy. I think I need some therapy now. I think I'm, how the hell a man named Jimmy X, that's the blackest name, Jimmy X, got snow bunny. How in the hell did a brother named Jimmy X get Snow Bunny? I'm at to talk to the Nation of Islam brothers and tell them to take your ex back. What mosh you belong to, Jimmy? I'm gonna call up the Nation of Islam and tell them to take your ex back, Jimmy. I need one of the Nation of Islam brothers to go snatch Jimmy X. Go snatch Jimmy X off his chest. We must stay focused. I need one of the brothers from the Nation of Islam to snatch Jimmy X off his chest. Snatch his X back, fellas. He got a Jimmy X, no way. How you got Snow Bunny in your name, Jimmy X? That's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. We're going to be in Senegal, Gambia, and Ghana this summer. Snatch that X back. I want to know what Maz he belonged to. I got to call the Akis up. They got to snatch that X off Jimmy Chess. Latina African or Yellow Rice Bunny? If she's a Latina African, she identified with the African race, she good to go. If she a Latina African and she identified with the African race, but the key question, do she identify with the African race unapologetically or she only acting black? <laughs> she only acting black. Rest in peace to Eric Mays. I was just in Flint, Michigan. I got the news this morning. Councilman Eric Mays of Flint, Michigan passed away. I hope it wasn't foul play. Shout out to my Flint, Michigan Africans. I was just with y'all the other day. Rest in peace to Eric Mays. Where my Haitian Africans at? When am I going to Haiti? Y'all ain't brought me to Haiti yet. Why hasn't the Prince of Pan-Africanism born on the date of the Haitian Revolution? August, the, I was born on the date of the Haitian Revolution, August the 21st, and y'all ain't brought me to Haiti yet. Y'all ain't brought me to Haiti yet. Y'all haven't brought me to Haiti yet. Why haven't I been to Haiti yet? I'm talking to my Haitian Africans. St. Lucia. I ain't been to St. Lucia yet. I ain't been to St. Martin yet. Botswana. We working on the Congo. My Cape Verdean Africans. Joy Cook PR. Come be my publicist, Joy Cook. Come be my publicist, Joy Cook. I'm just joking. I don't need a publicist. I'm a revolutionary. I'm just joking. I don't need a publicist. I'm a revolutionary. I'm just joking. I don't need a publicist. I'm a revolutionary.
Who gonna sign into the Bishop Turner National Independent Black Political Union? Who gonna stand with Dr. Umar and not vote this election without some promises? Who gonna stand with Dr. Umar and not vote this election without some promises? Who gonna stand with me in the Bishop Turner Black Political Union? We not voting unless we have a face-to-face -face with either candidate and they make some campaign promises to black people. Who's standing with me? Who's standing with me this election season? Who's standing with me? He got Kamala Harris running around trying to get the black bourgeoisie to manipulate you into voting on in November. Joe Biden and the Democratic Party plantation got Kamala Harris running around black America. They got Kamala Harris running around black America. They got Kamala Harris running around black America trying to get black people to vote for Joe Biden. These people didn't lost their damn mind. These people didn't lost their damn mind. These people done lost their damn mind. Talking about if you don't vote, they're going to let the immigrants vote. They're going to let the immigrants vote anyway. You don't think they don't be throwing black votes out? You out your mind if you don't know they be throwing black votes out. Half the time you vote, it don't even get counted. They be throwing election fraud in America is the greatest story never told. Election fraud in America is the greatest story never told. Election fraud in America is the greatest story never told. Election fraud in America is the is the greatest story never told. These all black communities, when you go vote in these all black communities, they throw out the whole damn thing. They throw them out. Them votes don't even make it to the count. I'm telling you, them what they did in election 2000 with the black Florida votes, when they threw them votes out, what they did in election 2000 with the black Florida vote, when they threw the votes out, they do that every election in the black community. They're not counting our votes like that. They don't count our votes like They throw them shits out. You crazy if you think they're counting all the black votes. Election fraud in America is the greatest story never told. Election fraud in America is the greatest story never told. You don't need to vote. You need unity in organization. You don't need to vote. You need unity in organization. Y'all keep looking for solutions that don't involve organization and financial sacrifice. That's the problem with black folks. Y'all keep talking about some, what's the solution? 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 The solution is organization and financial sacrifice. That's the solution. If they kill Eric Mays, I'm coming up to Flint. I'm coming back to Flint for the protests. If we found out they killed Eric Mays, I'm coming back to Flint for the protests. Flint, Michigan Africans keep me posted on the investigation into the cause of death of Eric Mays. Flint, Michigan Africans, please keep me posted on the investigation into the cause of death for Councilman Eric Mays. I heard he was a race first African. I heard he was unapologetically African. Did they assassinate Flint, Michigan Councilman Eric Mays? Did the Michigan power structure and the black bourgeoisie assassinate Flint, Michigan Councilman Eric Mays? I find it interesting he dies soon after I leave Flint, Michigan. I find it interesting he dies right after I leave Flint, Michigan. I find it interesting that Councilman Mays of Flint, Michigan dies right after Dr. Umar speaks in Flint, Michigan, something ain't adding up. Something isn't adding up. Something isn't adding up. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never. I'm about to do my black queen retreat. I'm doing a retreat just for black women. I'm doing a retreat just for black women. I'm doing a retreat 
just for black women. It's going to be the Queens and Dr. Umar. No other brothers are allowed on the retreat. No other brothers are. It's a political retreat to organize a secret retreat with the black Queens and Dr. Umar. Who coming, ladies? Who coming to the secret retreat with Dr. Umar and the Queens? Sign up is coming soon. Getaway weekend. Secret retreat with Dr. Umar and the Queens. It's going to be a for sisters only book release retreat weekend. It's going to be a for sisters only book release retreat weekend. It's going to be a for sisters only book, re book release retreat weekend. Now, Shaquille O'Neal got to stop thirsting for them bunnies. He thirsted over uh, Britney Spears. Now he thirsting over Taylor Swift. Shaq, I need you to calm it down, Shaq. Shaq, I need you to calm it down, Shaq. You, you're doing too much bunny thirsting. Shaquille O'Neal be doing too much bunny thirsting. First he thirsted over Britney Spears back in the day when he was in the league. Now he thirsting over Taylor Swift. Your husband ain't gonna let you come to the Dr. Umar book release retreat for sisters only? Well, I gotta respect my brother, that's your husband. If your husband don't want you around the Prince of Pan-Africanism, maybe he think you a little thirsty. Your husband might think you're a little thirsty, sister, I don't know. Have you went outside the relationship before? Have you went outside the relationship before? Maybe that's why your husband not comfortable sending you on the Dr. Umar for Sisters Only book release retreat. I can't, I can't, that's my brother. You his wife. So if he don't feel comfortable with you coming on my retreat, I gotta respect your king. That's your king. That's your king. I'm gonna, I'm gonna co-sign him. There's a reason why he don't want you coming on my retreat. You might be a little thirsty. You might be a little thirsty. Okay? You might be a little thirsty. You might be a little thirsty. I'm rocking with the husband. It's all about black king. It's all about am I my brother's keeper. I'm a big believer in am I my brother's keeper. Dr. Umar is a very big believer in am I my brother's keeper. So if her husband don't want her to come to the For Sisters Only book release retreat weekend, maybe he think you're going to let yourself your shango stick down. Maybe he think you're looking for the shango stick. I don't know. Maybe he think you're trying to put that put the shango stick in the honey dip. I don't know. Who is Mick Cannon? I thought his name was Nick Cannon. My brother, can you spell? Yes, me and brother Nick Cannon talked about his cereal bunny hop. When he dropped the episode, you want to see what he has to say. No, it ain't going to be freaky because I'm staying in my room, ladies. Y'all not going to get me on no quid pro quo. Y'all not going to get no TMZ footage off of me. You out your damn mind. When you come to the For Sisters Only book retreat, book release retreat, I'm locking myself in a room outside of the seminars. I'm locking myself in a room, ladies, outside of the sessions. You ain't bringing your center buns to my room and try to get no TMZ footage on me. Oh, no. I know how the game go. You're not going to bring them center buns to my room and try to get no TMZ footage on the prince. You must be out of your mind. 
you must be out of your mind. It's consciousness over the cookies. It's politics over the punani. It's revolution over the romance. It's institutions over the intimacy. It's business before the, oh no. No hair weave on a book retreat. You can't come. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. If you got blind, you're not coming to my, you're not coming to my, my for sisters only book release retreat. You're not coming to my for sisters only book release retreat. The Shade Room is waiting on updates from the Dr. Umar for Sisters Only book release retreat weekend. The Shade Room is shady. They got me on TMZ. How I get on TMZ? I'm not no damn celebrity. What am I doing on TMZ? I'm not no damn celebrity. What am I doing on TMZ? I'm not no damn celebrity. You need female security. Okay. Who want to be part of Dr. Umar's internal security? I'm going to have an all-female internal security. Any ladies good with security? Physical and digital? I need an all-female team. Security, physical and digital. I need my Dura Milaj. My own Dura Milaj. New Orleans, March 23rd, pull-up season. New Orleans, March 23rd. What happened to Wendy Williams? What happened to Wendy Williams? What happened to Wendy Williams? Let me Google, what happened to Wendy Williams? I'm pulling it up right now. Wendy Williams diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia and aphasia. I don't agree. They gave her the pills. Wendy Williams was a sacrifice. Wendy Williams was a sacrifice. I don't believe that. Wendy Williams was a sacrifice. Wendy Williams was a sacrifice. She was a Hollywood sacrifice. They talking about she got dementia and aphasia. Wendy Williams was sacrificed. And even though she did a lot of Negro pen Coonery, I still want what's best for my sister. I still want what's best for my sister. Wendy Williams was a Hollywood sacrifice. Ain't no way in hell you're going to tell me that she got dementia and aphasia. She only 59 years old. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. Wendy Williams ain't got no damn dementia and aphasia. They gave her the Hollywood cocktail. They gave Wendy Williams the Hollywood cocktail. My prayers go out to her and her family. Get well, Wendy, and come back as a black conscious journalist. Get well, Wendy, and come back as a black conscious journalist. Get well, Wendy, and come back. I wish Wendy Williams a speedy recovery. She wasn't doing nothing productive. I agree. She wasn't doing nothing productive, I agree. But as long as we still here, we got a chance to change. As long as we still here, we got a chance to change. As long as we still here, we got a chance to change. I wish nothing but the best for Sister Wendy Williams. They gave her the Hollywood cocktail. They gave her the Hollywood cocktail. They slipped her a Mickey. Ain't no way in hell she got no dementia and no aphasia. 
Aphasia is when you can't articulate yourself verbally. Aphasia is when you have trouble comprehending what you hear and what you read. Dementia is a loss of brain functioning in at least two major areas, judgment, balance, speech, reason, emotion. She might be, I hope she's not mentally brain dead. I hope Wendy Williams isn't mentally brain dead. I hope Wendy Williams isn't mentally brain dead. Has anybody seen Wendy? Has anybody seen Wendy? Somebody got to go check on her. Because if she's dementia and aphasia, she might can't talk for herself. If Wendy Williams has dementia and aphasia, she probably cannot talk for herself. If Wendy Williams has dementia and aphasia, she probably cannot talk, brothers and sisters. She probably can't talk. Stay away from them Hollywood demons. That's why I'm not dating no Hollywood sisters. I'm not dating no Hollywood sisters. The family doesn't know where she is. She's in a guardianship. Somebody send me some links on the Wendy Williams. Somebody text me some links, please. 215-989-9858. Text me some of this information on Wendy Williams. I might have to do an analysis. I might have to do an analysis. 215-989-9858. The family can't contact her. She was abducted by the power structure. She was abducted by the power structure. Wendy Williams was abducted by the power structure. What Wells Fargo got to do with it? Wells Fargo won't release her money? What the f We're going to have to go get our sister, Wendy Williams. Find her where she at, and we're going to break her out a side of Shakur style. Find out where they're holding Wendy Williams, and I'm going to get all the brothers together. We coming strong. We're going to break our sister out a side of Shakur style. Find out where Wendy Williams is. You said Wendy Williams is the real life they clone Tyrone? Wendy Williams is the real life they clone Tyrone? Somebody said Jamie Foxx is the real life they clone Tyrone. Somebody said Jamie Foxx is the real life they clone Tyrone. Where Puff Daddy at? Did they get Puffy? Did they snatch Puffy? Is Puffy Combs all right or did they snatch Puff too? Somebody said they snatched Puff. Did they clone Puff? They froze her $40 million. You know how many FDMGs I could build with that $40 million? I told y'all. You should never take another brother's queen, my brother. You should never take another brother's queen, my brother. I can't, I can't support that. You should never steal another brother's queen. I don't support that. 
Respect the sanctity of marriage. Respect the sanctity of marriage. And women shouldn't be stealing other men. Women shouldn't be stealing other women's men. Women shouldn't be stealing other sisters' men. Ladies, y'all gotta stop doing that. Black women, too many of you are home wrecking in the black community. Can any of my sisters identify? Black woman, has your husband been stolen from you by another black queen? Has your home been wrecked by another black queen? Where my sisters at? Where my sisters at? Do you have a sister actively plotting on your king, ladies? This is why the black women can't work together because y'all too busy stealing each other's men. This is why black women can't work together because y'all too busy stealing other women's men. This is why black women can't work together because y'all too busy stealing other women's men. You can't relate? Yes, you can. Y'all say y'all don't want polygamy, but y'all will, will share a married man. Y'all say y'all don't want polygamy, but y'all will share a married man. Y'all say y'all don't want polygamy. So why are you sharing a married man? If you don't want polygamy, why you take that man's husband, that woman's husband? If you don't want polygamy, why you take that woman's husband? Don't be a hypocrite, ladies. Don't be a hypocrite, ladies. Don't be a hypocrite, ladies. You anti-polygamy, but you sharing a married man, a married man. Make it make sense. You anti-polygamy, but you sharing a married man. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG. How you talking about you against plural marriage, but you sharing a married man? This is ridiculous. This is, polygamy is poison, but adultery isn't. Polygamy is poison, but adultery isn't. You say polygamy is poison, but adultery isn't. I love you too, my sister. All unmarried women are my wives. You are my spiritual wives until you get married. I'm responsible for you. All fatherless black children are my spiritual children. We got a bunny hopper. Holly Berry said.